All right, I gotta get the other bass. Hold up. But now I have to tune. Today, we are diving into what I and many others consider to be Red Hot Chili Peppers' best record of their career to date, 1991's Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Now you're like, Ian, I like Flea? Yes, but have you critically listened to Flea? Revisiting this record, I was absolutely blown away with his energy and masterfully created funky bass lines. So in this video, I'm going to highlight my favorite bass moments, break them down, and show you how to approach them both technically and sonically. Come on, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Before I hand you over to this beautiful fellow bald bass player here, I just wanted to let you know we've actually put a free downloadable workbook together for you guys for this specific lesson. So you can get all of the tab, you can get all of the notation for everything that Ian's about to teach you. Now, with that said, here's Mr. Ian Allison. So in September of 1991, the Red Hot Chili Peppers enlist the help of Rick Rubin to produce. They rent a mansion in Los Angeles and record blood sugar sex magic. Now Flea in that era, on that record actually, was playing a wall bass most of the time and also a Stingray 5. I wish I had a wall. I don't have a wall, but I do have my trusty Music Man Stingray 1979. And back here too, I also have a Stingray 5. So we're gonna check that out. First up is Power of Equality and it opens like this. Right out of the gate, he is just playing like this. Here's the deal. Flea's attack. Like, forget about the wall. Forget about the stingray, right? Forget about the amp emulation. It's all about Flea's right hand. And as far as Flea's slap tone is concerned, he's all about this motion. Thump, pluck, thump, pluck. So if you get your hand going in this motion, you get that slap thing. And again, it's hard. It's not this, right? It's not. He, he goes hard, you got to. The next song is If You Have to Ask. The chorus of this song is potentially the funkiest thing I've ever heard. That line is so cool. Let's just break it down. Check this thing out. It goes. Uh. Flee. You're a monster. So much fun. I love that bass line. That's one of my very favorite flea lines of all time. Let's move on. Next up is Funky Monks. And while the whole song is absolutely crazy groovy, the thing I actually want to show you is the very end. They break into this jam and Flea plays one of the coolest bass lines of his career. Right here. Here we go. Listen to that tone. It's so barky. Oh, it's so cool. He does that trill. Oh man. Okay. Let's slow it down. Let's check this thing out. It's really worth digging into this one. And then that trill. Let's see. And that smack on two and four kind of keeps me in the groove, keeps me feeling that backbeat. Mm -hmm. 
Next up is Mellowship Slinky in B major. And while the intro riff is incredible, it's really the verse, like dominant descending arpeggio that Flea plays that I want to look at. Check it out. I mean, it's so simple, but it's such a great ostinato. So check it out. We're in B, right? And he's coming down the third of B to the flat seven. So right away, that funky interval, that flat five, that tritone thing, so cool. And then to the fifth and then to the root. So we have third or 10th, 10, flat seven, five, one. And it's all down. So something you can do is you can rake the strings with just one finger. Check this out. So if I slow it down. Right? Next up is a tune called The Righteous and the Wicked. Starts out with Flea and Chad Smith playing this incredible groove. Let's check it out. Listen to that low B. All right, I gotta get the other bass. Hold up. But now I have to tune. I mean, what a great riff, right? I just love that low B. And Flea doesn't play a five much, but I love on this, it's so distinct. Like the low B is part of what makes that bass line so cool. Next up is the classic Flea bass line, Give It Away. And there's actually an amazing Chili Peppers documentary that shows Rick Rubin working with Flea making this bass line and Rick Rubin sort of distilling it down and asking Flea to get simpler and simpler until they finally lock in on something. And this is what they came up with, iconic bass line. What's so cool about this bass line is that it's so simple, right? It's this amazing ostinato. It's a part. It's intentional. It doesn't get too noty. There are so many opportunities for fills and to play all over the place on this bass line, but Flea doesn't. That's what Rick Rubin really helped him find on this record too, and I really appreciate it. So what we have is an open A, and then sliding up to the E, which is the fifth, and then playing that G, that flat five. So it's just these chord tones, right? Root, five, flat seven. Then that's the minor third. So we're really outlining an A minor seven chord. But that moment where he hangs on this G, you could do anything there, right? but he doesn't do that stuff, which is so cool to me because it makes it, it doesn't draw your ear into the baseline at every moment, right? For a fill, he just hangs. And I love that restraint and Flea, not somebody that's known for a lot of restraint in their bass playing, but that's what I love. There's a tension on this record where I can tell he's really thinking about playing iconic bass lines. And that's so hip to me. I love when he goes crazy, but I also love when he reins it in and really writes a great part. Next up is a song called Blood Sugar Sex Magic, where Flea is playing this really cool fifths part. Check this out. Oh, so good. So let me break this down for you. All fifths, and this is so tricky to play and get it right. That's 
That's a finger twister. Check that one out. Next up is the iconic song Under the Bridge, where Flea plays a beautiful melodic bass line. I don't ever want Oh, it's so beautiful. And I love how it moves. It's, it's a really lovely melody. Check that out. And I love that moment. And he's not playing, you know, he's sliding it. It just, just a cool nuance. All right, the next one I wanna show you is called Naked in the Rain. It's classic flea, drop D slap. <laughs> Let's check it out. And again, like the classic flea slap thing is this motion, where essentially, if you're going thump, pluck, thump, pluck, you've got the whole thing. Okay, the next one that I have to show you is in the tune My Lovely Man, there is this bass break at about 220 that just rules. It's classic flea playing hard, fast, E minor pentatonic all day long. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, and then the Frusciante solo. I mean, hey, and if you don't know E minor pentatonic, check it out, come here. Sneaky bass lesson. Pentatonic, penta, five, five notes. Minor means it includes the minor third, so E minor pentatonic. All that means is five notes from the E minor scale. The root, the minor third, the fourth, the fifth, the flat seven, and the octave. That would be six notes, but the octave counts the same as the root. And what Flea is doing is he's playing three notes per, and then two, two at the end, hard. So much fun. E minor pentatonic. Next up is Sir Psycho Sexy, where Flea plays a classic funky line in E, and halfway through the verse, puts on an Electro Harmonics bass balls pedal and completely changes the vibe. It's really cool. I don't have a bass balls pedal. Oh, boo. But I have a sound in the stomp called Growler that gets pretty close. Let's check it out. Here's the effect. That's a fun sound, right? like, oh, I wish someone would put together a beautiful PDF workbook for me that details all these bass lines and the line six HX stomp settings to achieve these sounds. Never fear. The incredible team at SBL has got you covered. In the description, there is a PDF workbook that you can download for free. And while you download that, why not take a gander 
at scottsbaselessons.com. Grab that 14-day trial. I am telling you, if you haven't checked it out yet, you are missing out. There is so much incredible content. If you want more, like if you get done with these videos and you're like, ah, I just need more bass, head over to scottsbaselessons.com, grab that free trial, check it out. You guys, I hope you have enjoyed this deep dive into blood sugar sex magic and the incredible stylings and tones and lines of the incomparable flea. I have been Ian Martin Allison for SBL, and I'll see you in the shed.